Good evening, everyone. This is Radio City, broadcasting live from Season 2 of Phoenix Craft. Today's episode is brought to you by the Pirate Radio Alliance General Store. An energy crisis swept through settlements in the northeast today as citizens reported that natural deposits of glowstone had been wiped out for hundreds of blocks in every direction. Investigators tracked the cause of the deficit to the newly completed Northeastern Tunnel, boasting hundreds of powered redstone lamps along its length. When confronted about the power usage in the tunnel, designer and builder Possessed Zombie said, I don't compromise when I have a design in mind. While the tunnel has vastly improved travel in the Northeast, citizens have had to resort to purchasing glowstone for their lighting needs. In other news, work began today on the server trading hall, designed and built by Bon Tom 2020. When completed, this massive hall will contain every villager trade available, with access free for all citizens of the server. Today's news was brought to you by the Pirate Radio Alliance General Store, conveniently located at Spawn. Exotic animals, tools, weapons, rare materials, all types of wood, and now stocking glowstone at competitive prices. And that's the news for today. This is Radio City, signing off. Hello, it's Pen Pen here on the Phoenix Craft server. This is Season 2, Episode 5, and as you can see, I have been a little bit busy. I've cleared out all my farms, my tree farms, my veggie farms from this area because today I really need to finish off my item sorter and uh, my house. It would be nice to have a house up there. <laughs> so, and to do that, I'm actually going to, uh, oops, I'm actually going to be starting it up the top here and taking it down through the floor into the basement and then down in the basement here. So it will sit here. And then I can finish my farms over there. I need to dig this down for a couple of layers and put a floor in. That looks quite nice. So yeah, lots planned for today. So I guess I better get on with it. Uh, I had a very busy weekend. You might notice this. This is the 2020 gaming patented phantom umbrella, which is the best way to farm phantoms ever because the little buggers get stuck in the cobwebs and can't get away and you can whack them. It's great. And uh, we went to the end and we got some goodies. So I'm set now. I've got my shulker boxes I'm all set up, ready to go. So going to start burning through my iron supply, making hoppers and uh, digging a hole in the floor. So the design I'm using is Impulse SVs uh, and I'll link to his video in the description. It's a really good Set up. It's simple. It's straightforward. It's tileable. Uh, I don't. Yes, I do. It's simple. It's straightforward. It's tileable, and it's pretty cheap for early game setup. So I always go with this one. One day I will try something enormous and complicated, but today is not that day. So the good news is I actually can fit it under the floor. Kind of. <laughs> it's not going to stick up as much as I thought it would when I started. As you can see, I've shifted everything down. Redstone is done. So simple. This is the best design. Look at that. Straightforward, easy. Costs a bucket load of iron, but you know, that's redstone for you. So I'm just going to set up the top chests, uh, put the item filters in, and then uh, get testing to see if it works. Thanks, Impulse. Best design ever. And it will get rid of this absolute mess of chests that is my current storage system. So it's all worth it. Look at how much iron I have left. After that, <laughs> I had like seven stacks and now I've got six ingots and a couple of nuggets left and that's it. So moment of truth into the input chest. What will happen? Yes. So while that chest empties, I'm going to work on the wall. I've uh, slowly been developing the style of it. And this is the interior wall. Uh, this is the exterior wall, of course, the lanterns there, because it looks great when you're coming in from a long way away. 
and uh, leaving these areas open and then outside in the interior got this little gate system there is a cave under here somewhere and i'm gonna have to start digging i think but not today we start laying these down look at that neat and tidy you never even know there's a sorting system right there it's amazing how little it takes to actually bring a build together once you've got the basic shape down start detailing um, it doesn't take much to turn this to, well this and it's all about just adding those little details get the look that you want really like this simple it's clean but it looks oops don't put one there don't put one there <laughs> it's uh, it's simple and clean but it just finishes off the wall makes it look a lot more i don't know real something nice anyway and I forgot to mention these gorgeous things. So one of our members, Cinnamon Lol, is into pixel art and he did an entire map art of our server logo. I absolutely love it. It looks fantastic. So that was designed, the logo itself was designed by Joy Witt, an amazing artist. And yeah, Cinnamon turned it into map art and I think it looks fantastic. It's probably going to appear all over my stuff because I'm a bit of a fan. Well, I knew there was a cave around here somewhere and I was right. I thought I'd lit up everything around here when I dug out my mine, but clearly not. So I need to go through and uh, tidy this up, especially if I'm going to put Gatsby just above it. <laughs> need to make sure that oh okay yeah oh bit of gold good good yep yep i'll come back for that i have cleared out all the chests in this area i can finally finish that's it that is it ground floor decoration is done i changed it up a little bit uh widened it took the lanterns off put them in the center there so uh, as you can see it's a bit empty so I need to think of things I can decorate it with. And because it's a corridor, I can't really go crazy with the decorations. But I think I would like something. I'm just not sure what I will consider. But that's the ground floor of Riverhaven done. Not quite done. I knew I bought this andesite up for a reason. There, now we're finished. Beautiful. I'm really happy with that. I'm almost finished down here too. So this is all of my storage. I've got my auto sorter on this side for all the big building blocks. And then I've got everything else here. These will be moving upstairs eventually. But now I have to finish off this area with melon farm, pumpkin farm, sugarcane farm, bamboo farm, and... and Gatsby standing on his composter. I moved Gatsby too and extended this area. So he's got his own little section there. He's been really good for giving me lots of emeralds. Really appreciate it, Gatsby. That's great. Well, <laughs> it's, uh, it's kind of a big sandstony box. But this is, believe it or not, oh, that was good. Oh, look at that. This is my melon and pumpkin farm. And uh, look, let me show you what I've done. Ooh, the lag, the chunky lag. I had to get help with this because I had the redstone wrong uh, several times, but thanks to Blue and Momo and G4 and Wa and Rondom, <laughs> that's a lot of people to fix a very small um, pumpkin and melon farm. <laughs> But oh well, that's how it goes. Anyway, this is it. It's a very simple design. 
um, because it's just for me. I just want to get melons and pumpkins for trading with Gatsby and nothing else. I'm not stocking shops with it. Any excess I can just give to uh, the Pirate Radio Alliance to go towards more books. Where did I just put that? <laughs> so it was a bit too much sandstone. So, yeah, I fiddled with it. <laughs> I like it a lot better. It blends in a bit more with the wall and doesn't stand out and say, hey, I'm a big block of sandstone. Having raided a mine shaft is really handy because rails, mine carts, plenty of. I've done my sugarcane farm. I'm just doing a bamboo farm. And I completely forgot cactus. So <laughs> I'll be tucking cactus in either there or there, depending. And that's the cactus farm done. Simplest of the lot. So basic, like can't even with how basic this is. And yeah, more than enough cactus. I am a D O N E. I want to build um, an auto furnace, but I want to incorporate my smokers and my blast furnace in the same setup. So I've been mulling over how I'm going to do that. And the reason I need a good auto furnace is ta da! <laughs> Wa and Tomo and I went caving yesterday and this is one third of what we got. This is my share. I uh, kind of amazed at how much we managed to rake in in, well, it was a couple of hours, but it was really productive. Okay, so my original plan didn't work. Uh, so I designed something in creative that's got a... Uh, 14 by 6 by 6 footprint and I'm hoping I can get it to work uh, yeah we'll find out okay it's, it's actually taken me a bit of uh, fiddling about to remember what I'm doing but basically I've got two blast furnaces and five regular furnaces for like glass and sandstone and stuff um, that are all fed from the same coal chest, which will be this one, and it goes up here, toodles along, do 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 do, toodles back, and I can shut that minecart off or on easily from the front, and then up the top, they are fed separately. So the normal furnaces are fed from this chest, and on this side, I will have. Uh, pretty much exactly the same setup. So, can you see the fundamental mistake I've made? Can you? Can you? Yeah. These chests, <laughs> they're not going to open. Oh, I can't believe I built the whole thing and I didn't notice that. I built it one, two. Why? Why did I build it one up? Like, I even had to move the floor when... The chests needed to go into the floor. Oh, I'm such an idiot. <laughs> I'm turning this up. I'm going to tear this all down and do it again. <laughs> oh, God. Well, then. Okay. So, <laughs> notice now we can open the chests on the top. That's good. On you go. Off you go, son. Beautiful. Oh, look at that. Yes. That is excellent. And what can I smelt? There we go. Let's put a stack of sand in there. Just to make sure that it works. I know it's going to work. Having said that, it now won't work. Absolutely brilliant. Look at that. I'm so chuffed with that. I can't tell you how chuffed I am with that because usually I just make Wells Knight's design and I go step by step and I follow it all through and I thought, you know what? I'm going to do it myself. And I did. And I'm really happy with it. 
So, time to skin it up. And, uh, well, I think that's it for today, guys. I, uh, I've i done a lot of work. I've got all my farms done. I've got Gatsby moved. Got my auto furnace. I've got my auto sorter around the corner. Got all of my storage down here. I've started decorating. Yeah, this is... This has been a really productive episode. I am nearly there. So I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Please tune in again and we'll see the house of Riverhaven going up. It's a great build. I'm really looking forward to showing it to you. Thanks very much for watching. This is Pen Pen out. Bye.